Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we used our node to render this globe asset in Maya. And in today's video, we're going to use the Marmosa tool bag for rendering. So let's start with importing our asset. So you can go here and click on this import model. So we have this globe in our viewport. Let's uh, remove all these uh, materials. We're going to create new materials for this. So just click on this plus icon and uh, create two new materials. First one for our map and uh, the other one for the metal. Let's select this map and uh, import your maps. So go to this source images section and, uh, and let's import our normal map. So for this, I'm going to use this normal map OpenGL. And you can't see anything here because we haven't assigned this material on this model. So just select this and drop it on this sphere. And now you can see some details here. Now go to albedo and uh, select this base color. For the roughness, just take the roughness. And in the metalness, select this metallic. And at last, uh, just scroll down and go to this occlusion. Select this occlusion and import your AO map. Now do the same thing for this metal. Import your normal map and drag and drop this material on this base. Now you can see the details here. Now go to this albedo and import your base color. In the roughness, just import your roughness map. And in the metalness, import your metallic. And at last, go to this occlusion and import your mixed AO map. Now go to this globe obj and expand it, select this mesh and uh, turn off cull back faces. And do the same thing for this other one. Now go to sky and here we are using this HDRI image, you can go to presets and uh, choose any sky map from all this collection or you can import your own and for that you can just go to image and uh, just go to the folder where you you stored your HDRI image select it and open so you can just leave it like this or you can go to this mod and change it to color and you can just change your background like this And you can also add uh, lights in your scene. Just split this viewport. And uh, let's add a new camera so that we don't have to adjust this one. So go to cameras and click on this new camera. And now we can rotate and adjust everything in here. So if you set your camera like this and press Ctrl L, it will add a new light in your scene. And then you can go here in this light and uh, you can tweak all kind of changes here like this. You can increase or decrease the opacity. So let's set it to 5 and maybe we can change the color a little bit. Something like this. And let's just go around this object and add a light here. Press Ctrl L to add a spotlight. And uh, with this spotlight, what you can do, let's add a rim around this object. We can change it to red, then turn down the brightness. Or you can just decrease this color here. Do something like this. Our scene looks good so what you can do just remove this viewport and you can go to this render and click on this use cascade also enable this ambient occlusion and diffuse specular click on this uh, local reflection and if you're using a uh, rtx gpu then you can turn on this use ray tracing 
and here you can just change the image size so right now i'm rendering 2k and here you can increase the sample size just to get a clear render so let's increase this to 512 and let's go to your main camera and here you can just change the tone mapping to all these modes uh let's let's try this one you can change it anytime you want if it doesn't work out so the ACS looks good we just need some more brightness in our scene so let's increase the exposure so 1.3 looks fine and you can increase the contrast if you want like this you can add a bloom in your scene just a little bit let's add 0.02 and you can also add sharpness let's add 0.1 add some vignette just for the effect and keep the grain to 0.04 and now our scene looks good so what you can do just go to this lens section and click this save frame so that you can see uh, how much of your frame is going to render so this looks good you can just place it here like this and you can go to render and click on this all image or you can press f11 so let's try that so i pressed f11 and it's going to render so it shouldn't take long and we'll have this render in front of us so this is the image we rendered in uh, mamaset toolback and uh, it looks pretty good and i'm pretty happy with the result I guess that's it for this video so if you enjoyed this tutorial drop a like on this video and if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe and in our next video we're going to import this model in unreal engine 5 and try to create a scene and then take high resolution screenshot so if you're interested in watching unreal engine tutorial then make sure you stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching